Yo folks, I'm gonna get out in the garage again today. Uh, we got a couple of things we need to get done. I got some, uh, one area on the passenger side uh, bed that I need to fill and then finish that area right around the driver's side rear wheel well. And then there's an area back behind the rear wheel that has been bent when I had it up on the bumper. Uh, so I need to fix that also and if i can get it done today i want to pull the front and the rear bumpers off uh, in, in preparation for painting so hopefully those areas of body work if i can get those done will be the last things i need to do any kind of fill work or stuff like that i hope uh, if, if not then we'll address those as we go along but the plan is is to after after today's video I start sanding and getting ready for, for primer. So that's what we're gonna do and I'll bring you along for the ride. Okay, so today's areas of concentration is getting this area here right. It uh, was a little low or high right here and right over here. I, I need to uh, tap that a little bit more, I think, with the shrinking hammer and then refill it. And this area here, actually, using Jose's trick of standing to the side and closing my eyes and rubbing it, it still feels a little high. So I'll work on that some. This area here, uh, this area here is definitely low, right in here. And I'm gonna do a little bit of shrinking on this and this, and then try filling again. And it does feel as if there's a little bit of a, of a low spot right in here. So I'll work on that. And then down here, as I mentioned, uh, we've got, this area right here that got bent whenever we put it up on the bumper and I noticed yesterday later that we've got that right there too to deal with it's not rusted just somehow broke I, I think from all of the vibration from this panel being loose caused that to break so I'll need to roll that back up yeah, roll that back up and, and weld it. And uh, if I need to, need to, I'll put a little bit of filler on it. But it shouldn't need a whole lot, I hope. So, and then on the passenger side, get you around there. On the passenger side, right in here, is going to have to be filled. Uh, it's got a low spot right there, like somebody hit it with their knee or something. And uh, then also, right up here, there's a high spot right there. So I'll shrink that down and then do a little bit more fill. Somebody had already filled it at one point. It wasn't me. So we'll work on these areas. And then... If I get it to it, after doing all this, then I'll uh, uh, pull the bumpers off and, and get it ready for sanding. This area up in here, I'm going to take the uh, surface conditioning tool to it to get rid of all of this all the way down. And then I'll probably also have to take the surface conditioning tool to the tailgate. It's got some rust surface rust along the uh, tailgate across the back and that's about it so let me get busy I'll bring you along got this uh, old paddle we're gonna see if laying that up in here will help with uh, keeping this kind of a, a rounded edge
that worked pretty good. Okay, let's try this one down here. I don't know if you see that. Let me move it just a little bit, just in case. pretty good but it does look like I knocked some rust out Okay, so I'm going to have to lay some metal back up in there to have something to weld to. I got rust leaking off from the back side. So this lab will be pretty thin. I know what that is. Okay. Let me find a little bit of metal to put up in there. I'm not going to weld it from the back side. I'll weld it from the front to have something to weld to. I hope. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay, I was taking a picture so that you guys could see what kind of a patch I made up underneath the truck uh, back in, inside here. And I'll, I'll show that to you. But boy, am I glad that that those guys moved out. Whee, that would have that would have hurt because I'm bad about getting stung by bees. Anyway, I'm gonna weld this up. I, I thought that there was a rust hole there, but it doesn't appear that there is. It's just just cracked. So I'm gonna weld that up real quick, and then we'll move on. We'll grind that down, and then we'll move on to the next thing. Uh, I think I pretty much got all of the. The dents worked out along here. It's uh, not perfect, but it's pretty close. And I, I don't think I have to worry about sanding or putting any body filler in down here anywhere. Everything looks pretty good. So we work on this, weld that up, and then grind it down, and then I'll show you what I got, and then we'll go into something else. <coughs> Now I am sure I'm going to burn the crap out of myself with this. Here we go. Pretty sure that went through to the patch piece. 
Let that cool off a little bit and I'll grind it down and see where we stand. Okay, there we go. We got it welded up. There's little pinholes and things, but uh, I'll put a little bit of a skim coat of, of uh, body filler in there and fill that up and, and uh, we'll call it done. Uh, sand it off and real quick and, and, and uh, whenever I do this stuff over here I'll take a little bit what's left over and put it in there. It won't take much. It's not a very big spot so uh, and, and it doesn't need to be contoured or anything like that. You won't even see it. It's just, just for my peace of mind and for you guys to see that I didn't just leave it like that. Alright, so let's move on to other stuff. Okay, so this is the next thing I'm going to tackle. It's uh this low spot right here, uh, I don't think that there's a way to get in behind it. I'll, I will check that just in case. But uh, if there's not, and like I say, I really don't think that there is. I think that the the inner bed, right, as you can see right back in there, is, is in the way there. So this will have, I, I don't have any way to, to pull that out. And it starts... It's right in there. It's, it's, it's not real bad. It's kind of kind of subtle, but it would be a waviness that that you would definitely see once it's shiny. So I want to fix it. So I'm gonna hit that probably with some 80 grit. To see if I can bring it down with the DA sander and uh, bring it down to give me some some good bare metal to put the the uh, filler on, and uh, I'll. I'll show you once I get it ready for filler and, and put it on and we'll start boarding it uh, and getting it ready. I'll also shrink that up there before I mix up any, any body filler so that I can do that at the same time. Uh, Alright, so let me get busy with that and I'll bring you back. for the DA sander, but I do have 40 grit. That'll definitely knock it down. I did knock this down as you saw. Feels pretty good. We'll see how, how it looks whenever I sand it down. <laughs> really shows the low spot right in here all the way up and then over down here it's actually high I actually sanded all this area here and here and this area here is coming to bare metal just like this kind of looks like a tooth don't it or something I don't know <laughs> anyway so I've got a low spot here high spots right in here Low spot here, high spot down in here. So, I guess I'll be doing a little bit more hammer work than I thought. This area up here is definitely high, right in there. So, I got more work to do. Right in there is where it's high. I'll bring you back when I get something developing. This, this is probably going to take me a little while. So, I'll bring it back here in a little bit. Okay, I did a little bit more sanding, and I also went along here with the uh, the body hammer and knocked down the high area here. So it feels pretty good. As it's not it's not overbearingly high anymore. Seems to be pretty level with the areas out here. So now all I have to do is fill this area here. It goes all the way down. There was also a high area down here that I, I tapped down with the body hammer. Seemed to go pretty good. I could have reached the inside 
from about here down but this was so this dent was so subtle there was no way to see it uh, yeah it worked better just tapping it down here and filling it this one up here this was overbearing it, I guess being so close to this bend here it uh, definitely didn't want to cooperate much but now I think I do have a, uh, a pretty prominent divot there that I can fill in and the rest of it is unscathed around it up even up top so I'll make some filler up and fill this and this down here I'll bring you back after I get that in there and start sanding another suggestion Jose made the other day was was when this thing this, this bondo is ready to be uh, cheese grated instead of using the cheese grater he takes 36 grit and puts it on a, a, a hand sanding board and uses that as a cheese grater. Doesn't do as much damage, I guess, and works about the same. So I'm going to give it a shot. This is uh, about to, to cheese grater point, and I'm going to see how, how it works. He was pretty smart on the other stuff. We'll see how this goes. very well very well thanks again Jose This one here feels really good. A little bit of work with the DA sander and I think that'll be done. This one here, I gouged it a little bit when I was trying to get the cord up from underneath my rear end. Get this mask off. Uh, but up here it feels pretty good. I think right here and right here I might need to tap it down just a little bit. Maybe not. I'll have to run the DA sander across it first to see, but I'll definitely have to fill this gouge. This down here, let me stand up. It actually feels pretty darn good. Again, I'll hit it with the DA sander and uh, bring it down a little bit. It's hard to hard to judge when when you got gouges like that, kind of messing up your fingers. But uh, it's pretty close, so I'm gonna leave like that like that for now and go work on the other side where I put the rest of the of the mud, and uh, I'll bring you back. Okay, I couldn't stand it. I, I went ahead and grabbed the DA sander and, and knocked some of the stuff down to see what it feels like. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I don't think I'm going to get this any better. It, uh, it feels really, really good. Same with this down here. The only thing that's going on down here is this gouge. And this one here. And I think I can take care of those with some, some spot putty. And uh, 
all that done. Okay, so now I'm gonna move over to the other side now that I know this is okay. Okay, I'm getting kind of excited. I don't know if you guys are or not, but it, these are the only two places I've got left to work on. Right here. Then we start sanding and getting it ready to put some primer and some bane on it. Uh, that makes me happy. I did pull the tape off of here. Hopefully that worked out pretty good. I'll, I'll uh, hand sand that with a, uh, I've got a little, there you go, right here. I'll use that for that and then hit this with the board sander and uh, I will hit that little area down. I just put a little bit on that spot that we welded a few minutes ago. So let me get busy and see what, what it looks like. Wish me luck. Okay, this is done. This feels really good. I got a couple little boogers here I got to sand off, but other than that, this is ready for some higher, numer numerically higher grit, uh, grit paper to uh, finish it up. This here is pretty darn close. Let me get down here. All this up here feels real good. You know, this feel a little, still a little high right in there, but right in there. But for the most part, it feels pretty darn good. I believe that's actually the the filler that's high, not the not the metal. And then filler gets lower here. And I hit that with a little bit of on the DA sander, both of these, and uh, see what it looks like after that. I'll bring you right back. Okay, I've knocked both of these down with the, this one here. And that one there with 120. Um, this one here is about as close to perfect as it's going to get. The line is nice and straight. The curvature here seems to be correct. This is nice and straight. This area here, the only thing I'm feeling really is uh, marks from the 36 grit like that right there that's the only stuff i'm feeling even after hitting it with the 120 um, i'll have to address that with some uh, spot putty and and finer grit paper so i think we can say yeehaw the body work is done so now uh off camera i'm going to uh take the try to take the bumpers off and uh, that'll require me crawling up underneath the front and the back of the truck so that I can get in there and, and pull them huge bolts off and probably rusty bolts. The back back here, the uh, tailgate, 
as I mentioned earlier, is going to have to be hit with the the um, surface conditioning tool to dress all this stuff up. It's got a it had a, a bed or a tailgate cover on it at one time, and uh, it's laying over, right over there. See, it's standing up. And I think that thing moving around might have caused a little bit of, of bare metal and rust up in here. It probably did protect it from dents and stuff like that, but the rest of, from, from here down, where that tailgate cover goes over, from here down, not bad at all. I mean, it has a couple little rust spots like that, but that's, that's nothing. DA sander take those off. Here's a a scrape that something happened, something went down the back of the tailgate. But uh, otherwise, it doesn't look that bad. Even down at the bottom where they rust out, it's in pretty good shape. So, again, I'll start taking this huge step bumper off and the front bumper. Now, the front bumper, I've noticed. Well, I've known it. I don't know what Dad hit with it, but it's got some some pretty pretty good dings in it. You can see daylight there, no daylight there. <laughs> so he hit something with it. I don't know what he did, what he hit with it. Probably pushing somebody's old car or something. But even the bolts are where it's supposed to be flat is dented in that may may make it a little bit more difficult to get off especially those two here in the middle i'm assuming like i said that he probably uh was pushing somebody's car trying to get him started or something you never know but all this stuff in here looks good just needs to be cleaned up and, and paint uh, and uh, scuffed and painted um, did there. I don't know if that's. I have to look at that. But uh, we also got to figure out how to take this piece of chrome off without destroying it. Not in the best of shape. It's aluminum, I think. But anyway, I'm going to get busy on the on the bumpers, and. Uh, so I'm going to call this a wrap. I, I may come back and show you my results of getting the bumpers off or not getting them off. But uh, if I do get them off, I'll bring you back and show you that, and then we'll call it a wrap. Okay, I started with what I thought was going to be the, the most difficult bumper. I cut it off. Uh, I want you to know... This truck came up what seemed to be about two or three inches when I pulled that thing down. It is heavy. My goodness. Makes me real tempted to try to go back with a regular bumper if I could find one. But you never know. I might want to use this for towing a small trailer or something. But uh, now the front. Yeah. No. It's still on there. I'm debating on whether or not to take a cutting torch to the to the bolts to get that thing off. Uh, there's just hardly any room in there to get a socket and, and, and an impact or a ratchet even for that matter. Uh, so I'm going I'm, I'm pooped today. I'm going to address this first thing when I come out next time. So I'll do a little close, couple closing words and and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, well, as you can see, I got dirty today. Getting underneath that truck and spraying all the uh, penetrating fluid and stuff in there and then uh, all the dirt falling on you with the impact and it just rains down. It's mostly dirt, not rust, so that's a good thing. But anyway, I, I, I think I'm done with the body work. Yippee! Now we gotta just do the sanding and uh, get everything ready for primer and uh, get it primed. Next thing is getting that bumper off in the front.
because there's a valance, I guess is what you call it, between the bumper and the front of the truck that, uh, that I need to uh, sand down so that it can be painted and uh, see if I can get those pieces of aluminum molding off. Uh, they're in pretty bad shape, but I'd like to keep them or use them. If nothing else, I can always spray paint them silver or something. But anyway, I'm going to call it, call it a night. I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. I'm going to, I'm going to go get a much needed shower. <laughs> Again, thanks for coming along for the ride. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.